past week, we went on the food bike tour. Now, if you guys have not seen it, seen this or uh, know about it, it's a company started, um, I think maybe in 2016, maybe 2017, um, by Vanessa. You'll see her here. She, she started this. She's passionate about restaurants. I think she's less passionate about biking, but I think over the last few years she's gotten better at biking. It's a group tour around the local area and experiencing um, like one-off restaurants, uh, locally owned food, uh, locally owned restaurants. What she said last time was they have a partnership with about 50 or 55 local restaurants. Her company was started in Edmonton, and I think they branched off to Calgary, uh, Kelowna, Canmore, and I think they're starting a, a tour in Banff now too. So it's a pretty sweet, sweet little uh, fun gig. If you like biking, you don't have to be an expert in biking. You don't even have to own a bike. However, it is a fun afternoon. Typically what happens is we meet at a certain spot, the group meets there, we kind of maybe have a snack or something like that. We get some pictures, we register, and then we go for a bike ride. It's basically a bike ride with intermittent stops to check out those restaurants. Everything is pretty safe. They, they have several people working with them as far as like um, stopping traffic at intersections, making sure we're going in a uh, single file line, making everything safe. They've predetermined the route so that it is interesting. Not super, super difficult as far as like hills going up and down. It's not bumpy for the most part. They're on uh, paved trails and roads and they have a sweeper to make sure no one's left behind. So there's never ever a, a, a doubt with regards to that. The group stays within the line. We end up getting to our destination. And what, what I'm a, I'm a bike fan, so I, I don't mind the long rides in between, and they can range between like 20 and 40 minutes of just kind of mediocre uh, biking. And we park all the bikes when we get to our stop. They get chained up, or someone is out there kind of guarding them while we go inside. We learn a little bit about the restaurant. We try some of their new food or some whatever they want to prep for us. And, you know, once we're done, we're satisfied and we move on. And these tours take about four and a half, five hours. You are, it's a, it's, just be prepared to, um, to enjoy the experience is really what it is. The cost is, I think they're about 140 bucks a person. And you can rent a bike. They also have like e-bike options. They have e-bike tours as well. Shannon and I did one last year and they're a little bit longer. So because you're with an e-bike, you don't have to uh, pedal so long. So it's uh, super fun. It's, oh, we've always had a great time with it. And it's rain or shine. So it's, you know, sometimes if you're looking at the forecast, be prepared to, uh, Maybe get a little wet if it's windy or whatever, be prepared. So you're, cause you're gonna just be with your bike. There's no support cars or anything like that. Over the last few years, we've uh, try and go at least once. We even tr we've even set up some private tours with a, a bunch of friends, which is also very, very fun. You just have to contact Vanessa at the food bike tour and see what they say. They also introduced a walking tour, food walk tour. We've done that in the winter where obviously the distance is less because you're walking, but we meet in a, in a central spot. We we walk to, again, local restaurants, dry those out. We don't have to worry about the bikes in the winter, so that's pretty good. And that's also very, very fun. So check them out. We've gone all over the city and it is cool to, from, um, Ethiopian food to breakfast food to um, local local uh, kind of just you know general uh, hamburgers and fries and sausages and seafood and we've also gone to a um, 
uh, not just food places, but uh, kind of more experiential places like uh, this one store on White Ave, where we learned um, kind of the history of knives and how to sharpen knives and and that type of stuff to like donut places to Korean food to it it, it it's the wide range of stuff and it's it's just so cool uh, highly highly recommended go check out uh, the food bike tour you want to go at every stop so this is this is kind of like you're traveling around they have a food bike tour passport and in the passport when you're first when you first join up with your first food bike tour, you get one of these. It's a passport. Just imagine you're traveling around the world, you get stamps in the passport from different uh, countries and airports, right? In this guy, it's about, you get a stamp or a sticker from the restaurants you've visited. Uh, Urban Diner, 2017. Park Allen, that's a pizza place. Uh, local Omnivore before they turned into uh, gravy. Uh, Dones. Oh, and what's sad about some of these places is that we visited them um, a few years ago and now they're out of business, which is kind of just sad, but interesting. Cask and Barrel. A Via Arepa, very awesome place. And so in here, you get a sticker or you get a, um, a stamp. And I, uh, a, a good idea that we they don't do is um, get a pen. When you finish the tour, write down the date of when you went because it's, uh, it's good memories, it's very good memories. So these are cool. So when you go, when you go on your second one, don't forget to bring this. It's cool. It's a cool idea. Thanks for watching, guys. This is my week in review for this week. I'll catch you next week.